them in those, though, you know, because I, I'm sort of trying to avoid the 50th, you know. That. desires of, of a lifetime but it was awesome uh, freedom to roam within its extended geographic bounds mm -hmm. seemingly not a care <clears throat> except where your friends were congregating and what activities were in store uh, leaving your back door in the morning with the admonishment from your mother warning you to stay out of trouble and be <laughs> home at five o'clock for supper <laughs> Uh, walking downtown to McCarthy's Red and White store, uh, Jack's grandparents ran that. 
down next to Stearns Hardware. Um, where you could, at Stearns you could meet, uh, or actually you wouldn't meet, he would meet you, John Libby, I think was the original Walmart greeter before Walmart. Uh, and it, which was great and interesting. On the other side was Bing's Barbershop. Heard a little comment about the buzz? Well, Bing had one style haircut. You <laughs> girls are really fortunate you didn't have to go to the barbershop. <laughs> Williams is next to where Charlie Flanders lives now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Next to the bridge on East Avenue, or at the dam. Occasionally go up there. I personally, I usually went up East Avenue and went in the creek, and they'd always have some logs thrown in there so the water was backed up reasonably well. Uh, with the electric fence that went around it, that was always fun too. <laughs> uh, Trips, trips to Hornell, whether in a car or on a bicycle, were always an adventure. Hit three movie theaters, four at one time. Clothing stores, jewelry stores, drug stores. I won't fill in the names. You all know who they were, what they were. Uh, but it was awesome. They and other took an interest in you as if you were their, their own. Yeah. I am truly grateful that all of you are my friends, and I got up to, or I got to grow up with all of you. Uh, now, and I promise this will be quick. I want to take a look at what was going on in the world as we were coming up through high school, which I, I found fascinating and I could have, well I sat in front of the computer and I could have written all day. We started high school in 1962. In September 1962, John Kennedy reaffirmed that the U.S. would put a man on the moon by the end of the decade. Yesterday was the last flight of the last space shuttle. So we saw the beginning, and I won't say that the last flight of the space shuttle was the end. It's going to be more things, but it's not ever going to be the same. So we saw it all from beginning to end. Um, the Soviet Union started sending arms to Cuba. Uh, Johnny Carson took over as host of The Tonight Show. The Beatles uh, released their first song, Love Me Do. The Cuban Missile Crisis begins. Uh, first media use of the term personal computer in 1962. Uh, Cuban Missile Crisis ends. Uthon is elected UN uh, Secretary General. U.S. Senator Mike Mansfield becomes the first U.S. official to make non-optimistic comments about the war in Vietnam. Uh, 1963, George Wallace becomes governor of Alabama, swears segregation forever. Alcatraz closes. Beatles' first album, Please Please Me. The nuclear sub thresher sinks off New England. Yeah. Coca-Cola introduces their new diet drink, Tab. Mercury Space Program ends with the flight of Gordon Cooper. The U.S. Postal Service introduces the zip code. NASA launches its first geosynchronous satellite, which eventually will give us the capability for communications and the GPS that almost everybody uses today. I hope we double that. Uh, Martin Luther King delivers I Have a Dream speech. First push button phone for AT&T customers, John Kennedy is assassinated. 1964, plans unveiled for the World Trade Center. Barry Goldwater declares run for president. Winter Olympics held in Innsbruck, Austria. NASA's Ranger 6 carries the first TV camera to the moon. Advertisements, the big N in Hornell. Oh, yeah. Head and shoulder shampoo was 67 cents. Oh, wow. <laughs> Textured nylons, two pair for a dollar. <laughs> Lunch kits with a vacuum bottle, $1.66. Oh, wow. AMP in Hornell, Demonico steak, $1.79 a pound. Oh, wow. Ala well, get this one. Alaskan king crab. Where are you, Harold? <laughs> Arkansas. <laughs> Arkansas King Crab Legs. <laughs> 89 cents a pound. Oh, oh, my God. And Wisconsin Swiss cheese was 59 cents a pound. Rich Myers then was in North Hornell. Iceberg lettuce, two for 29 cents. Oh, wow. And so once, Becky, you invited me to go up and stay overnight at your house, and I had to get permission. I had to go on the bus, so I thought that was pretty cool. And the next morning, we had milk straight from the cows. It was in this big tank, right? <laughs> I, this was 
was really interesting. So we had, and it was unpasteurized. I'm very lucky to be here today. <laughs> Kenny was at our house, oh. and for some reason we had a water fight with a hose on the kitchen sink, and was it Kenny that came running through it and all of a sudden hit that hit that water on the floor, and he went sailing right down on his beach. Sailing right down, wasn't I? I fell straight down. down. <laughs> and then Mother came in, and that was a whole There I am on the thing. floor. <laughs> I've been on the floor before. <laughs> the name of the female gym teacher that Mr. Goodsell tried to court. But anybody else got any stories, any, anything else? You want to have a 50th? No. Yeah. 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 I think it's a good one. How long your uh, toothbrush go?